Azul. Blue. Everyone say hi to Blue. Hey, what up, Blue? Hey, what's up, Blue? What's up, Blue? You are Blue. You ever have a black guy before? Wait, what'd you say? Have I been with a black guy? No, 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 no. I said, have you ever had a black eye? It's not even black. Hit with a fist, blunt object in your face, opens up the blood vessels, and it's more like bluish, purplish. It's not black. They should call it blue eye. Here you go. Pop. It hurts. It's a huge bruise puffed up on your eye. It impairs your vision that you can't even see. I'm gonna feed you right now a blueberry pie, followed by raw, ripe blueberries. You've never tasted blueberries like this. Cartoon colored blueberries. They're not the size of normal blueberries. They're giant blueberries. Each blueberry is the size of an apple. Oh my God. This is the most delicious blueberry pie I've ever had in my life. The ocean is blue, the sky is blue. You're listening to the blues and you're feeling blue. When you think about blue and the color, it comes with sadness. Oh, I feel blue today. I want to goth out a little bit. I want to be like super emo right now. I want to listen to Blue Moon by the Cowboy Junkies while getting high and, and watch Blue Velvet. David Lynch movie with uh, Dennis Hopper being all weird. Blue. I was in prison 21 years ago in Japan. So I was in jail for two months already not knowing what to do with myself in a foreign country, not knowing when I was gonna get out. And the only way I could soothe myself was to write and draw endlessly, nonstop. Writing notes to myself, letters to friends, making lists of things I was gonna do when I was getting out, journaling what I was eating, what I wanted to eat when I got out, things I wanted in my life, fantasy, escape, sci-fi fiction, non-fiction. It was endless, I was writing and drawing at an enormous pace and speed. And it was all with this black pen. In Japan, they let you keep the clothes that you were arrested in. And one day I realized I haven't washed these jeans since I got them. Full disclosure, I've, I've never washed my clothes in probably decades. I'm just a dirty person or my mommy does it for me. So I washed my fucking dark Levi's jeans in the sink. The, the blue dye from the jeans starts to come off and my head explodes. So I pour some of the blue dye into my teacup and I take the tip of my sock and I dip it in to the blue water and I start painting with blue. This is after drawing and writing with a tiny shitty pen for two months. I find, oh my God, I fucking cried. You know, I'm in a solitary confinement. I'm in a prison cell by myself. I got up and I announced to the audience, ladies and gentlemen, we have the color blue. They've come all the way across the world in my jeans. And I was crying and laughing like a maniac and painting women swimming underwater and a horse swimming underwater and mermaids and mermen. I was in heaven. Blue doesn't have to mean sadness and pain and blue eyes and hurt. It can. Blue is a powerful, oh, it makes me sad. Sadness is powerful. Sadness can motivate you out of sadness. Blue is a primary color. You know what that means? Nothing flips with blue. Blue is number one. This ain't your cheap drug. This is blue, it's the purest color. It's prime. You are gonna join the Blue Man Group. You ever seen the Blue Man Group? Flipping dope. There's no one better, no worse. There isn't a blue star. You are equal, you are enough, you are worthy. You are covered in blue, head to toe, every hair on your body, your eyes, the white part of your eyes is blue also. You are now in the blue man group. And when you're in the blue man group, you know what you can do? Flipping anything. Oh yeah, that's a show on Broadway. You, you think they just started on Broadway? These are Mother that just were experimenting. Some of the most creative flipping people on the planet. They just take random trash cans and sticks and they just start banging. You are part of a blue group now. The Smurfs are blue. There's Smurfette, Papa Smurf, Brainy Smurf, Grouchy Smurf, Finance Smurf. Smurfs are the good guys. Gargamel and Azrael are the assholes. The bad guys. Who's Gargamel and Azrael? Gargamel is a poor priest. He lived in a f***ing bell tower eating porridge. And his cat Azrael, you know what Azrael means? It means Israel. And what does Israel mean? It means the people of God. The Smurfs aren't evil. Smurfs is a kid's cartoon for kids. The Smurfs represented all the sins. Gluttony, greed, anger, grumpy, vanity, lust, pride, laziness, 
And then it was the freaking Lewis Cipher, who was Satan, Papa Smurf. All the Smurfs are blue and white, except for Papa Smurf, who wore red. And Gargamel and his cat Israel, they just wanted to stop these evil little munchkins. So today, let's let them win. Everywhere you go in life, you are good, you are bad, you are greedy, you are vain, you are lustful, you're lazy, you're sleepy, you're hungry, you're brave. You will always be everything. You are not just one thing. And all these things, you are one with the blue. You can do anything. And what you choose today to do is not live in the sadness, not live in melancholy, not live in emo land. You choose to use your powers to create, to express yourself unconditionally with love, you just am, you just do, and you just give of yourself with courage in your heart. No one is defining you. No one will tell you what to do. You know, you are blue inside and out. You are every Smurf. Smurf you.